Tao po. Tao po. Hindi ng panawagan ng abang kaluluwa na sa iyo ay sumasamo. Hanan diwata ng umaga, munag sumala ng bukang liwayway, ay huntulutan ng sinag mo ay masilayan sa malawak na kalangitan. Panginoong may kapal, may ari at may yari itong buong sang sinukuban. Bigyan muli ng panibagong buhay, yaring nila lang na iyong nilikha. Apolake, diwata ng araw, bigyan kami ng sigla at ng bagong saysay ng aming maisagawa ang katwiran alang-alang sa iyong dakilang kapurihan. Dakilang may kapal, munag sumalahanan, mayari at apolake, bigyang liwanag ang sandibutan at pahintulutan ng kapayapaan ay maghari magmula ngayon hanggang magpa sa walang hanggan. Apoy na walang hanggan, liwanag na mula sa kaitaasan, pumasok ka sa dambana mong hirang at dito manahan magmula ngayon hanggang magpakailanman. Apoy na walang hanggan, ningning mo at kariktan, magninga sa aming buhay magmula ngayon at magpakailanman. Apoy na walang hanggan, Liwanag na mula sa kanunununuan, patnubay niyo at gabay. Biyay at pagpapala niyo ay aming kailangan magmula ngayon hanggang magpakailanman. Glory and honor to the great power that created us in the whole universe. Thank you for this new day and for the new hope that we have received right now. We are offering this day to you with all of our life, thoughts, emotions, and strength. May this offering be worthy before you as you guide us this day of our life that we may do your will. Make us an instrument of your blessings for our family and to the whole world. Make us worthy this day that we may become an image of your glory. From darkness, you make your light shine to guide us always. May your sacred light protect us from harm. Your great love will always reign into our life as we will always dwell in your love and all of our actions we are offering back to you for the sake of your great love for us may your love always remain in us so that our life will always be blessed for there is one power in the universe and we are the perfect manifestation of that power and for us such we pray for peace we pray for peace, we pray for love, and we pray for stability. We pray that all the people around the world be blessed with peace. Peace that promotes justice. Justice that follows discipline and orderliness. Discipline and orderliness as a result of understanding, and understanding as a product of knowledge, and knowledge as a fruit from the seed of love. O oh, great Supreme Divine Spirit, we come before you, your children, to bless us with courage. Courage that makes love and peace to overcome all forms of evil, fear, hatred, terror, violence, warfare, and warriors around the world. By the power of love that gives us life, May peace prevail on earth. May all the people around the world be blessed with peace. May all the inhabitants of Mother Earth enjoy the blessings of love as we create and manifest this in our life by our unified will with aiming harm to no, to no one and in full gratitude to the divine. We accept and receive this and it is so so mote di and good morning to everyone good afternoon or good evening wherever you are in the world this is apod man of luntiang agama natural divine art shine of healing and today is september 19 2021 and today we are going to talk uh, to discuss i'm going to share to everyone about our experience it is us 
no? as an individual who are choosing our own experiences. We are the one who choose what we want to experience in life. But when we were a child, if you will remember, no, if you if you will remember uh, during our childhood or during the time that we were infant, no, our mother carry us in her arms and being fed with the natural food, no, with the milk from her breast. But as we grow old, uh, solid foods are being introduced to us. And I remember that, uh, especially at this moment, no, young kids right now, uh, probably not all, no, uh, we have a struggle in feeding them uh, with the food that we provide for them, such as eating vegetables. If we remember that, no, uh, we are being introduced uh, to, to eat food, but sometimes the kid refused to eat because they don't like the taste. So it means that I, 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 I'm, I'm thinking that the children of our generation, or even at, at this point of time, we guide our choices through the taste that we receive. And sometimes if it is unpleasant, for us, we try to avoid it, no? But as a parents, we know that giving, feeding our child with vegetable will help them also grow. So as there are many uh, movements such as the, the vegan knows uh, that eating vegetable uh, will help save the environment or so on and so forth. No, I'm not, I'm, I'm not really familiar with their advocacy. But the thing is, it is our choice. And it is our experience. No? It is nice that each one of us shares our experience uh, to one another by telling our stories. But every individual, every living soul that exists here on earth has their own story of their own life experience. We are so much blessed because we can access uh, the, the social media, we can access the internet and share ourselves to the people of of what we think and what we feel about the situations that is happening right now. But there, it's not everyone has the access for, for internet because not everyone also has the ability or, or the capability to buy gadgets such as the cell phone or, or computer or camera. Nor there are some people who cannot even apply for an, an internet connection, no? And, and I remember when I was in Saudi, when I'm making a video post, they are asking, can you make it into a text message only? Because there are still many Filipino who are relying on the free data service of, of Facebook or, or other internet uh, or, or social media applications, no? So they, they just will rely on reading only. You know, it is good that people know how to read and they could receive information through reading. But at the same time, it's not everyone yet. It's not totally complete that everyone has the ability to read. In our life, we choose our experiences. In our life, we choose whom to hear, whom to watch, what to watch. And the one that we choose is are the one that is helpful into, into our life, beneficial. We react to the thing that we like. And also we react so much if we hate what we hear or what we see. I know I have 
talk about this that we are either the reactor or a creator. But in our life, in, in our message today, the universe wants us to value the experiences that we are experiencing in every moment of your life. It is not only our mouth or our tongue that experiences this. Value it so as our nose, so as our eyes, so as our ears, and our skin. All of these are the channels where experiencing experiences enters in our body. And through our experience, we can learn and we will learn. And the most important lessons that we have to learn is that through our experiences of our daily activity of our life, God is within that experience. We have to determine. We have to acknowledge. We have to welcome God every day in our life. So until then, may you all blessed be peace. Mayari na. Pagasatin. See you tomorrow.